Hello everyone, right now we're doing something that's hard. It's never easy to say goodbye. And a lovely lady who has given her life to this incredible community is Lorraine. And this lady has really helped out in so many different ways from schools to now helping out the school district. But now she's decided to take a little bit of time for herself and to retire. So Lorraine, what's the, what's the plan right now? Well, the plan is uh, for the interim, my husband and I are planning to stay in Fort McMurray. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that Fort McMurray is a place with a land of opportunity for volunteering. So as I've told many committees and boards that as long as I'm in Fort McMurray, I will always give back and continue to volunteer in any capacity that I know that I'm a fit for and uh, just continue to give back to Fort McMurray and to the region. Now, you've played, you've had a few different roles in this community, played a few different hats, even with the school district. What are some of the roles that you've had? Well, uh, being with the school district, you're an automatic connection with the community. It always, education is such a big part of Fort McMurray. So it's always been a connection for me to be involved with many community support agencies. Um, had lots of involvement with Keanu, uh, the Hospital Foundation, um, some with Mac Island. So I know that as our community continues to grow, mm -hmm. um, hopefully they'll look to some of us pioneers that <laughs> have been here a long time and, and use that history of the past to certainly go forward. We have, I know the municipality has many exciting plans ahead, so there'll be lots of opportunities to give, I'm sure. Now from teaching to being a principal to working for the school district, was there a favorite role or did you love them all? You know, I always say to people that for me, um, Fort McMurray was the land of opportunity. I know that I would never have had the opportunities that I've had in Fort McMurray. Coming as an innocent first year teacher, looking for a job anywhere that would hire me, um, I never looked back. Started, worked for 15 years as a teacher in the classroom, had amazing opportunities there, both in the arts and teaching all the, pretty well any curriculum area. Then just was given the opportunity to look into administration and uh, I thought I'd really miss the classroom and I did for the first few years but then I had the opportunity to connect with the students with their mm -hmm. parents with the community and I just really enjoyed that transition and then the last three years working as the partnership facilitator mm -hmm. uh, that opened up amazing doors for me to not only work with one school but all the schools in the district and then to seek opportunities to bring the community into our schools and vice versa. Now I think of EDGE program, I think of all these different things that you've been part of up here. Was there one thing that really, that you can really look back and be very, very proud of, or is it hard to pinpoint it? You know, the things that I'm really proud of is what, you know, we're all lifelong learners. Mm -hmm. And I look back at the amazing programs that we've put in place for our special ed students, our special needs students, and supporting their families. Um, those are some of the things that are lifelong memories for me, is learning myself mm -hmm. about what we can do to support all students about inclusion, integration into the classroom for our special needs students, supporting their families. Um, the EDGE program certainly most recently has been a huge highlight for me uh, because I see it as an opportunity once again to support our students through the, the avenue of athletics but also be um, helping our students become amazing leaders. Mm -hmm. And so those are some of the highlights as well as when I was at Dr. Clark, of course, we had a major modernization project, almost $8 million. Mm -hmm. And there again, uh, we were involved. We had an amazing architect. We involved the students, the staff, the community in coming up with a design. And I would dare to say that the school is still probably one of the uh, models for being an excellent facility to, to support learning. So. Um, um, those are just a few I could go on and on. <laughs> now we're sitting here right now at Heritage Park in one of the first schoolhouses that ever existed in Fort McMurray. And obviously you're a pioneer like you said, but when you look at Fort McMurray and you look at the community, any advice to new people that are bringing their families up here and putting their children in the system? Well, I would say, um, first of all, a lot of people that move to Fort McMurray, the school where they put their children is their first stop. Mm -hmm. So that's a great way to get connected with a student. Get to know your teacher, get to know your community, and if you have any access to technology, if you get the Saturday edition of the Connect, you have immediate ways to get involved in the community. And there's just limitless opportunities. I've seen, even in the last five years, the municipality, our schools, our districts, uh, really engaging our parents and families and giving them opportunities to get involved. So, you know, Fort McMurray becomes home. Home, 
As soon as you meet your neighbor down the street, as soon as you get involved with your school, you get involved with your community, and those are the people that I see are happy, mm -hmm. and they're going to want to make for McMurray their home for a long time. So I believe that we're in good hands. I meet a lot of young people, a lot of young marrieds, um, young families, and they say, oh, we're here to stay. So that's very encouraging for me, um, because I certainly, this is home for us, and it's been our community, and so of course you want that for people coming in. I know you were one of the first people I met, so I'll definitely say that she's, she can sell this community like no other. She was one of the first people I met, and I was just so excited after I met her. So I'm glad this isn't goodbye, and I'm glad that people are still going to be able to see you in the community. Absolutely, and a big thanks to Shaw. I know that you do much for our community, and uh, it's, it's these partnerships that we have with, with businesses, with industry, with our community agencies, and the media like you that um, really supports what we're doing and makes us feel like we're contributing and giving back so thank you again oh, thank you thanks so much for joining us everybody we are spending the day here at beautiful heritage park we could not ask for better weather i'm with a very special lady right now lorraine huge part of our community she is here to tell us about a wonderful event that is coming up it's actually right around the corner not that we want to you know make summer go by faster but september is kind of uh around the corner. So you want to tell us what's what's about to happen? That's right. We are very excited about the 100th anniversary of the Fort McMurray Public School District coming up August 31st to September 3rd. And it's hard for me to really fathom mm. that it's 100 years. Um, but it's also a celebration of our region again, knowing that one of our educational um, ed uh, institutions is in fact 100 years old right here in Fort McMurray. That's crazy to think that. So now in terms of getting in touch with alumni, how can you, how are you going about that? How can people get in touch with you? Well, what we can, there's two ways that people can get in touch with us. Uh, they can call our main reception desk at the uh, public school board office, which is 780-799-7900. Or you can go on our Fort McMurray Public School website and all the information about the entire weekend is outlined there regarding sponsorships. If people want to um, be involved at the weekend and sign up for the events and, and get registered that's probably the most important thing because August is right around the corner and we're gonna need to know numbers soon for the events that we're selling tickets for so we really urge people to you know take that uh, interest and get on board and uh, get their tickets so what kind of reception are you expecting in terms of people coming back up here and wanting to connect with old friends, whether, whether that be in school or otherwise in the community? Well, what's neat is, um, you know, whatever year you graduated in or whenever you worked with the public school district or you were associated with the public school district in any way, uh, there's an opportunity that weekend to get involved. We're having open houses. So I know of one group, they're actually having their own uh, come home for their graduation group. And they're going to go back to the school that day on the Saturday when we're having the open houses and you know people can come and go that day and meet up with their old friends and alumni and of course the teachers that were part of that school are thinking that'll be really exciting too because they'll get to see a lot of their uh, their students and and their colleagues that they taught with and so um, the whole weekend is is pretty full um, there's something for everyone um, if you don't necessarily want to go to the events that there's tickets for there's there's simply uh, open house events there's even tours of the oil sands so maybe people had a spouse that worked out there and they haven't been back since they retired or moved on to some other uh, uh, place in the world but we really want this to be come back to your municipality and, and see all the great changes even in our community as well as in the district. Perfect. Now, before we go, just a really quick snapshot into that weekend. Can you just kind of break down what kind of events are going to be taking place that weekend just for people who are interested? Yes. On the Saturday morning, which is September 1st, we have a golf tournament in the morning followed by a brunch. Then in the afternoon, well, actually from 10 in the morning right through to 4, there's open houses at all the school sites, including the board office, which used to be the old Clearwater School. And then that night, we're really, really excited because one of our alumni, Aaron Lines, is going to be back for the big gala at Mac Island. Uh, then we're going to have, you know, dance the night away and other special features will be uh, at that gala. Then Sunday will be again an open house the entire day at Westview School so people can again meet up with their friends at Westview. And then that evening we're having a wine and cheese for all our sponsors and all our partners that have supported the public school district, not only for the 100th but over the years. Then the big culminating event will be uh, Monday morning before everyone has to say goodbye or farewell. We're having a pancake breakfast at Dr. Clark's school and that'll be um, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. So that'll be our final kickoff before everyone heads back home. 
but we are excited for an action-packed weekend. Thank you so much, Lauren, and we will see you at the Centennial this summer.